to my amazing friend did these curtains for me for my for my under the curtain farm sink <laughs> and this is my Christmas one isn't that pretty y'all so I'm gonna take this one down this is my summer and fall and then I got one for spring too kind of fun and I just got a, a, a tension rock Thank you, Lorraine. Love you. We are gonna make some jalapeno jelly. I'm so excited about it. I've never made jalapeno jelly before. So the first thing I needed was a stock pot, like a canning pot. So I don't have one, even though I've always wanted one. Hint, hint for Christmas. So I went to my sister's house to get theirs. So I got theirs and I said, where's that little rock inside that, you know, you put the, the jars on them to keep from breaking? And she said, oh, I think I threw that away because we never use it. I'll let that sink in for a minute. Yeah. So we're going to just go with it. So this it seems to be the right size. See, look. So we're hoping that will work. Don't do it without the, a little rat because I've done that before and the jar breaks and then you've got your food and the jars and the water and it's, yeah, it's not successful thing. You don't want to do that. So yeah, so we got a cool improv rack. Awesome. And then, so we're going to get started. So the first thing we're doing is we are sterilizing our jar lids. We did the jars in the dishwasher so I think they're sterilized okay. so I got this little gadget at Elliot's Hardware so exciting it has um, a magnet in it so it picks up the jar lid so if your canner person the love of your life doesn't have one of these this would be a great stocking stuffer just saying all right so I got this recipe from a forks tail that is just such a cute name for a website so thank you, Katie, because I had no idea how to do jalapeno jelly, but after this, I'm going to know how to do it, and you are too. So first, so we need jalapenos for, and I'm going to put in some habaneros. And then um, we need some bell peppers, three bell peppers. She used one yellow, but I'm using two reds. And then we've got our jars with our lids sterilized. We need sugar. We need apple cider vinegar, and we need Sure Gel Pectin, uh, 1.75 ounce. All right, and I'll put the recipe uh, on a link below in the description, so you can go to my blog and get it and print it out. First, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna seed my jalapenos um, most of the way, and I'm gonna cut and seed the bell peppers. I've got some help today. The bestie is helping. Yay. So we're gonna chop our jalapeno peppers in our ancient food processor, which isn't <laughs> mine either, it's my sister's. Hint, hint. Okay, anyway, all right. <laughs> okay, so are these the jalapenos? Yep, so okay. the jalapenos. And the ha some jalapenos. I should have done it that way. Right? It'll be fine. I think they all fit in there? Yeah. Okay. All right, and we're gonna put a ha uh, handful of pekins in there just to give it a little kick. Or whatever these mystery peppers are. <laughs> it grew in the pathway of my garden. Nice. Um, so I'm not really sure what kind of pepper it is. It's the magic pepper that I can do. <laughs> the bees may be creating for us, I'm not sure. All right. Okay, so just pulse it. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay there you go. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's really hot. Yeah, wow. Uh, <coughs> we need some smell of vision in here. Maybe we shouldn't put in that handful of keys. It'll be fine. All right. 
Okay, awesome. Yeah, you have a smell of vision. Yes, some smell of vision. So we're gonna make some really hot jalapeno jelly. Merry Christmas. Surprise everyone, yeah, Merry <laughs> Christmas. But hopefully, I'm gonna put, I wanna put it over cream cheese. So cool. that'll yeah. like calm it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put um, them over the peppers over medium heat, and then add a cup of apple cider vinegar, and I'll get the pectin. You wanna do the vinegar? Yeah. <laughs> a whole cup. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put in the pectin. This is so exciting. Look how pretty that's going to be. It's Christmas colors. Yes, it is. All right. I hope it gels up. But if it doesn't gel up, um, then we're just, done for. It'll just pour over the, um, oh. the cream cheese all the better. <laughs> we'll just look on the bright side. Yeah. We'll use a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed we'd be done for. No. Okay. All right, we're supposed to stir and let it come to a rolling boil. Now we're going to add the sugar. Five Took cups. it off the heat. Yeah, five cups. One, two. Ooh. This is the sweet part of the hot. Three. Okay, now it's increasing in volume. <laughs> oh, yeah. Five. Six. Alright, back on the heat for back one on. minute. So we let it go for one minute on a rolling boil and then we're going to remove it from heat. And then we're going to let it cool for just a minute and then pour it into our jars. Do we take the foam off? There is no foam. There's a Some bit. on the side. Oh, is there? No. Okay. Yeah. Just Can you get it with spin. that spoon or do you need this one? Like that? Just use that. Okay, yeah. Let me get you a plate. so pretty in jars. I know. It's really gelatinous. Now that we've done it, we can do it every year for Christmas gifts because we know how to grow up peppers. <laughs> Here's the ladle. Okay. Yes, just... Fill them up. Two. Oh, you need a fourth of an inch from the top. Now we're going to can them up, we're going to seal them. So fill your pot with water, not boiling water, and I hope that our makeshift rack works. Some people don't know that you can use your pressure canner as a water bath canner. If you just find a different lid for it, then it can serve as both. So honey, you might as well go ahead and spring for that pressure canner. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to place them in there on our rack. And you have to have the um, jars completely covered with the water. What happens if they're not covered? I don't know. I'm just following the instructions. I've never. I've only done this once. Okay. I did can some jelly before. The probably the most difficult 
recipe you could do, which was prickly pear cactus jelly. But it did turn out good. No, and I, I was going to enter it in, in the state fair, but my kids ate my entry. It was really good. It was it's good. I'm glad you enjoyed it because I think I would have won. All right, we have to bring it to a boil for five minutes. So after it's boiled for five minutes, they're ready to come out. Look at that. All right, there you go, folks. Jalapeno jelly you can put over cream cheese for and give for presents for Christmas. Bye, guys. <laughs> so, if you like these videos and you want to follow me on my adventure, then please hit the subscribe button. And if you give me a thumbs up, that encourages me. And um, leave a comment. Have you ever made jalapeno jelly? Um, do you have any twists on it? Bye.